Over the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through some of the most crucial elements to the Rotary Swing Tour system. These are things that 99% of all golfers will never understand, but will lead to taking three, five, or, or we've even had hundreds of students take a dozen or more strokes off their handicaps using just these simple techniques. Before I teach you exactly what you need to know to have a safer and more efficient swing, I want to look at a couple harsh realities of the golf instruction industry. If you've ever taken a lesson or you've watched golf instruction videos online, you've probably learned that while there are some really well-intentioned instructors out there, there's a lot of misinformation, a ton of conflicting advice, and other recommendations that can both hurt your golf game and your body. This is one of the biggest problems facing the golf industry today. It's so easy to spend time, hard-earned money, and not see a lick of results. Part of the problem lies in the foundation of instruction in general. It's constantly chasing the dominant player of the day. Think about it. Have you ever taken a golf lesson and had your swing compared to Tiger or Rory or some other pro? You see, golf professionals generally teach one of two things. One, they teach you how to swing like the hot tour pro of the moment, whoever that may be, which changes all the time. Or two, they teach you a series of band-aids that have worked to fix their home golf swings. That's it. The reality, the golf swing should never change. The fundamentals should be the same, regardless of who is teaching them, just like in every other sport, but more often than not with golf, it's just not the case. That's where rotary swing sets itself apart from traditional instruction. We've based the entire rotary swing system on anatomy and kinesiology to develop, to develop a swing that allows your body to move powerfully, efficiently, and safely. Now, here's another question for you. Do you know what you primarily learn when you go to the PGA program, if you're gonna become a golf pro? Hint, it's not how to make people better golfers. No, most of what you're learning is how to run a multi-million dollar business, which is what a golf course is, right? You're learning how to manage the pro shop, how to manage inventory, manage events, understand the fundamentals of agronomy, how to manage the carts, and then you get very, very little on how to actually teach golfers how to swing. In fact, they're still studying a book that's 25 years old, and some of that stuff has actually been proven wrong that's in that book, yet they still teach it anyway. It's just not a priority. Is that the type of golf instructor you want refining your golf game? Of course not, especially not when you have to shell out hundreds or even thousands of dollars in the process. But rather than continue talking about how life-changing rotary swing is going to be for your game, it's time to show you. Okay, so what is the rotary swing methodology? What's it all about? At its core, rotary swing is made up of a five-step system that involves the stacking process that I mentioned earlier. We start simple with setup and weight shift techniques, which I'm going to show you in just a second. But then, after we have those movements fully ingrained in your body, we introduce core rotation, the lead arm, the golf club, and finally the trailing arm. Understanding how each of these components of the golf swing fits into the entire movement, it's critical to have a safe, efficient, and powerful golf swing. In this video, I'm going to completely shatter all of your thoughts on what a golf swing is, and I'm going to share the secrets of how pros are able to drive the ball so far with so little effort every single time. This is my favorite tool to help golfers understand how to swing a golf club properly. It's a flail, a ball on the end of a cable, and a piece of wooden stick. Not that complicated. But as I move this around, I want you to pay close attention to something. As I move it around in a big circle like this, the ball's not moving on a very consistent plane, right? It's not moving very fast and it's kind of moving all over the place. But as I start moving this stick in a tighter movement, and I start moving the stick in the opposite direction that I want the ball to go, look what happens to the ball. Not only does it speed up, but it's moving on a more consistent plane and path. I can move the stick all over the place, which isn't very efficient. I'm having to work a lot harder. I'm trying to move the stick in the same direction I want the ball to go. It doesn't work very well. I pull in the opposite direction that the ball's going, and all of a sudden, look how fast this thing can move and how little I'm moving. It's this concept that is fundamental to understanding why you need to start pulling versus pushing with your golf swing. That's critical. We're gonna cover that in just a few minutes in step three, but first, let's start with step one. Let's start at the beginning, with the absolute basics with weight shift and setup. One of the things we like to do with Rotary Swing Tour is tackle a lot of golf swing myths, and that is a lot of misconstrued information out there about the golf swing. And one of the most common ones that we start out with is with setup. There's a bunch of different things that go on with setup that people do incorrectly all the time and are taught incorrectly. And I wanna address a couple of those. I'm gonna start showing you how to do it correctly. So first of all, 
What's the most common thing you hear about stance width? How wide should your stance be? Well, it's pretty simple to answer. In most cases, when you ask any golf pro, they tell you shoulder width apart. And I always ask them, okay, well, where are your legs attached? Well, they're attached to your hips, of course. I say, okay, well, what are your shoulders, the width of your shoulders have anything to do with your hips? Well, they don't have anything to do with it. So why would the width of your shoulders determine how wide your stance should be? They usually can't give a very good answer for that because there isn't one. Your stance width is determined by the width of your pelvis, but we gotta go back another step further and think about it from an RST perspective. We think about things in terms of gathering requirements first. What are your requirements with stance width? What are you trying to really do? Well, the first thing I'm trying to do is be really stable. So taking this stance width, I'm gonna be really stable. I can swing the club really hard and not fall over and have really good base that's gonna be very stable. So I've met the first requirement. But the problem is there's more than one requirement with stance width. And the second one is I need to be able to shift my weight fully without my head moving all over the place. That's the other requirement. So if I stand really narrow, transferring my weight, pretty easy. I can shift my weight 100% to right foot, 100% to left foot without hardly moving at all. And my head doesn't have to move. So I've met the first requirement, but the, or the second one, but the first one isn't met because I don't have much width, I don't have very much stability to fight all of the forces of the club that are trying to pull me over. So how do we determine stance width? Well, I can go two inches outside of neutral joint alignment, which we'll talk about once we get inside some more of these videos, but two inches outside of neutral joint alignment will give me the proper stance width so that I can be stable while also fully transferring my weight without my head moving piece of cake. Rotary swing has fundamentals for every aspect of the swing that are based on science and your anatomy. And so the width of your pelvis is going to determine your stance width, not the width of your shoulders. Some people have really broad shoulders, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and some people have really narrow hips, and some people have really broad hips and narrow shoulders. It has to do with how wide your stance should be based on the requirements of what it is you're trying to accomplish. So stance width, really common one. Now, one thing that most people also get wrong is where should your weight be? And so this one we need to look at from down the line. So if I'm setting up to the ball, most common golf swing instruction, miss, I would call it, tell you that you should set up on the balls of your feet. And so again, I'll ask the instructor, well, why do you think I should set up on the balls of my feet? And the answer is always the same, to be more athletic. And I say, okay, well, athletic is a pretty vague term. I could interpret that a lot of different ways. So by athletic, what do you mean exactly? Well, you need to be like a shortstop, ready to move in any direction. Okay, that makes sense. For a shortstop, he doesn't know which direction he's going to have to move. The ball could go back. He could have to run forward for a butt. He may have to go side to side. He doesn't know. I say, oh, it makes perfect sense for a shortstop. Now tell me, in the golf swing, where are you trying to go? And they look at me kind of funny and I'm like, well, not really trying to go anywhere. I say, okay, so why would you set up like a shortstop and follow his requirements when he has to move in any direction that he doesn't know where he's trying to go and you're trying to do the exact opposite and stay very still. That doesn't make any sense either. Not only that, but in the golf swing, the club is applying a tremendous amount of force trying to pull you forward. There's all this centrifugal force that's got the club trying to yank you this way. So as you set up on the balls of your feet and you swing really aggressively, pretty easy to do that number. That's not a very good way to swing a golf club. So where should you be on your feet from heel to toe? There's a fundamentals based answer and it has to do with what true balance really is. What is true balance? Well, you can stand up and do this one with me. All you need to do is stand straight up, good posture, and just slowly rock forward till you feel your heels start to lift up. And then slowly rock back till you feel your toes lift up. Just keep doing this a little bit, back and forth until you feel once you stop moving, that you feel perfectly balanced and relaxed. You don't feel your feet clawing to keep you up. You don't feel like you're going to fall over backwards. And you, it can help you if you do this and you close your eyes and let your body start to sense where true balance is. For everybody, if your legs are straight, it's going to be right through the center of your ankles. That's where your body is engineered to bear load, which is gravity. That's the forces of nature that we're dealing with every single day. And our body is structurally designed to have weight right through the center of our ankles. That's true balance. Guess what? When you set up in a golf swing and you're trying to not fall forward or go backwards, guess where your weight should be? Over the center of your ankles. RST looks at every single part of the golf swing like this. So 
when you're starting to work through things, just these two setup cues alone will help you a ton in learning how to get more power out of your swing, be more consistent, and have a much more effortless golf swing. Now, with just those two pieces of advice alone, you're gonna put yourself in a better position than all of your golf buddies who just don't know what you've just learned. But your setup is just one of the crucial elements of an effortless, powerful golf swing. Your, mem your momentum is really coming from your weight shift, but where does all this power come from? What is the motor that really drives and powers a, a really powerful golf swing? If you said your core, you'd be absolutely right. All movement should begin from the trunk of your body where your biggest and strongest muscles reside, and that forms the basis of step two of the RST system. Let's take a look. All right, let's keep tackling some golf swing myths here. One of my next big pet peeves is how you should swing the club. And there's a lot of information out there, lots of different ways to kind of skin a cat here. But again, with RST, we're all about efficiency. We want to do it the most efficient way humanly possible. And that is all about moving certain parts of our body, very little that's going to move the golf club a long ways. Now, what most amateurs do is the exact opposite. They get so fixated on moving the golf club with their arms and hands to try and position it in a place that they think is the right position for the swing, but the way that they got there makes it impossible for them to generate power from their body in the swing. Let me give you an example. If I was to turn down the line for just a second and I show you a position here, you would probably say that that golf club position doesn't really look that bad for the end of my takeaway, right? But now what I did to move there was just my wrists and arms. I didn't move my body at all. So when you look at it from face on, this doesn't look like a very good golf swing at all because you know I haven't used any big muscles in my body and I need to engage about 32 pounds of muscle to generate about 100 miles an hour club head speed. Now, can't beat science again, and I don't have 32 pounds of muscle in my forearms. So it doesn't make any sense to just man maneuver the club and manipulate it. You've got to learn how to move your body correctly, and that's where RST really sets itself apart, because to finish the takeaway as an example, you only have to move two inches. How does that make any sense? I'm going to move two inches, the golf club's going to move eight feet. Let me show you. Throw the club down for a second, because most of the time when you're practicing, you don't need that. You need to learn how to move from the inside out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my right shoulder blade, because I'm a right-handed golfer, and I'm going to focus on pulling it back in towards my spine. That's it. All I'm doing is taking my shoulder blade, pulling it back. Now, as you'll notice, my body, my rib cage, the logo on my shirt, is turning to where it's now about 45 degrees open. Now, if I did that with my arms in place, and again, I focus just on pulling that shoulder blade back, Look where my arms go. Well, I'm not trying to move my arms at all. In fact, I'm just trying to leave them here. But as I move the, my body, my hands are being moved a long ways. Now, what happens when I pick up the golf club? Look at that. I didn't try to move the golf club at all. In fact, I just moved my shoulder blade and that moved the club all the way to a perfect takeaway. It's the way that you move the club and what muscles and where you move from that's gonna determine what kind of golfer you're really gonna be. With the Rotary Swing Tour system, we help you completely rewire the way you think about the golf swing, and we're gonna teach you how to swing from the inside out, just like the pros you see on TV each week. With the RST, RST system, we can help you leverage that core rotation with just a few really simple drills to help you master rotation. It's gonna help you hit the ball further than effort with way less effort. RST is all about moving as little as possible to create maximum results. But weight shift and core rotation aren't even the most important parts of the rotary swing system. Next, I'm gonna share with you the single most important mindset change that will have the biggest impact on your golf swing. This one thing alone has the potential to help you go from a 20 handicap ball striker to a single digit with just a little bit of practice. Like I said earlier, the rotary swing system is completely objective. It's based in science and physics rather than opinion and conjecture. And the most fundamental aspect of the rotary swing tour system is in step three. It's the concept of pulling versus pushing in the golf swing. Most of my golf swing training aids aren't exactly conventional. You've seen my flail. Now I'm going to show you my favorite one, and that is a truck with a trailer. Now, how on earth does this help you understand anything about the golf swing? The reality is this is going to teach you more about the golf swing than any book you've ever read, any tip you've ever seen in a magazine, and anything you've ever seen on television. I want to show you a really simple demonstration that's going to help further illustrate the difference between pushing versus pulling in the swing 
and why that right hand is causing you a ton of trouble in your swing. If I take this truck and I put my finger on the top of it and I just pull the trailer down the highway, the trailer automatically goes straight every single time. Without me trying, I can just put my finger on top of it, pull it, it perfectly follows in line. Now as soon as I, I keep my finger in the same spot but I change the direction the truck's moving, almost instantly the trailer and the truck jackknife. How does this happen? What's changing here? My finger's in the same spot, I'm not pushing any harder, but instantaneously that trailer changes the way it's going to move and it starts to jackknife. Now, that's how I like to describe most amateurs golf swing. It's pretty much like a big jackknife as a trailer was trying to be pushed down the highway, which I'm sure you've never seen. You've, ever, you've always seen people pull trailers down the highway for obvious reasons. And even just trying to back them up slowly in the driveway, trying to line this thing up is darn near impossible. Just like trying to swing a golf club using your right hand and the right side of your body as a dominant force is darn near impossible to do it consistently and correctly. That's why none of the tour pros do it. They all learn to pull from the left side and that is the key to rotary swing. These three fundamentals of weight shift, core rotation, and now pulling with the left side of the body are three of the five components to a perfect golf swing that will lower your scores and make your friends green with envy of your golf swing. But there's obviously more to an effortless and efficient and safe golf swing rather than just those first three steps. The pros know a little secret about how to use the legs and the wrists together to hit the ball miles with seemingly no effort. I call this the pro power move, and it is the number one differentiator between the drives of amateurs and pros on the tour. And what about that right hand? If it's not doing all the heavy lifting anymore, then what's it supposed to do? The answer is going to surprise you. Those last two steps are absolutely critical to making the swing work like that of a tour pros every single time. Are you starting to see how the rotary swing tour system can not only add crazy yardage to your golf game with a laser straight ball flight, but more importantly, keep your body healthy in the process? If every time you step over the ball, you've got a laundry list of swing thoughts like keep your head still, keep your left arm straight, I've got news for you, you're chewing it all wrong. It's this common advice that so many golfers take as gospel that kills their ability to hit confident golf shots that look and feel silky smooth. And what about those injuries I talked about earlier? Every week I see the dreams of good golfers crumble under injury. Mike's quest to break 80, ruined by a torn labrum in his hip. Brian's goal of becoming a scratch golfer, recurring back problems. Like you, they didn't realize just how problematic their swing mechanics really, really were. Improper movements are similar to a raging river carving deep canyons into the earth. First, you don't really notice any effects from one day to the next, but over a long period of time, everything changes drastically. So while you might not feel your body wearing down today, as the months roll into years, it's a virtual guarantee that eventually your body will succumb to all these harmful repetitive movement patterns. The thought of missing an entire summer of morning rounds on those beautiful dew-swept fairways or that annual golf trip with your buddies can be depressing. Eric even had to cancel his first trip to Pebble Beach. Do you have any aches or pains in your body right now? Perhaps something minor, not really thinking, not really sure what it is. Unfortunately, there's a good chance it's because of your current golf swing. This is really a scary problem and it's also exactly why I developed the Rotary Swing Tour system. Here's the great news you can get more distance with less effort and avoid excruciating injuries like golfer's elbow, rotator cuff tears, or even tendonitis. Rotary Swing Tour is the only proven swing system built with the help from biomechanists, orthopedic surgeons, and learning experts. Not only will I teach you the exact movements you need for a safe and powerful golf swing, but I guarantee I'll help beat them into your brain so that you never go back to your faulty and dangerous swing problems again. While others are playing cards in the clubhouse, you're going to be out there enjoying worry-free sunny days on the course and playing the best golf of your life in the process. Here's a question for you. Do you know one thing that Dustin, Bubba, and Rory and all these guys have in common aside from major wins on their resume? They've all mastered one single move that lets them bomb towering drives miles past so many of their fellow competitors. I guarantee when I tell you what it is, you're going to say, I've totally seen them do that. Dozens of people pay over $3,000 each year to come to my clinics and learn this move. And you should see the looks on their faces when they go from hitting five and six irons into the green to wedges. All the advertisements out there say that if you want to hit longer drives, what you really need to do is buy the latest and greatest driver. This is completely false. 
it doesn't matter what kind of driver you have, graphite, carbon, titanium, unobtainium, none of them will make you a better golfer if you don't learn the swing fundamentals. If you went head to head with Rory today and he had a tiny 60 year old persimmon wood, you had a brand new latest and greatest driver or whoever, who do you think is gonna drive it better every single time? Exactly. And for less than 25% of the cost of a new driver, we can change your golf swing forever. Over the last 15 years, I've become a little bit obsessive about developing this system. I knew when I left the tour, this would really be my life's work. Within a few years of digging into the research, it became crystal clear there was a much, much better golf swing out there. And if I didn't develop it, learn it, and teach it, millions of golfers would continue unnecessarily hitting the ball poorly while injuring themselves in the process. In 2010, I posted a video on YouTube that many of you have seen that correctly predicted Tiger Woods would be out of the game for life within a few years due to the swing mechanics that he was learning that I knew weren't sustainable for his body. Now, four back surgeries in four years. Um, no thanks, it's not for me. I'm not interested in back surgeries. Today is the day you get to stop worrying about golf swing injuries for the rest of your life and immediately begin lowering your scores. I just recently got this email from Caleb H. of Napa, California. Here's what it reads. Chuck, in 20 years of golfing, I've taken lessons from numerous PGA pros I now feel like I have a better understanding of the golf swing than most of them. Since joining RST, I've gone from a 16 handicap to a 7.1, and I hit the ball further and more consistent than ever before. I just turned 65, and to do this at my age is just the best. I truly believe you should be placed in the Hall of Fame for best golf instructor, thank you. Caleb's email isn't the exception either. I literally get hundreds of emails every year from people just like him. People have taken RST to heart and are playing the very best golf of their lives. Now, in just seconds, you're gonna have the same access to my entire life's work. You have access to my library of swing videos. It's gonna make the, you learn the perfect golf swing. It's gonna be so obscenely easy that even a fifth grader could learn how to do this. You're also gonna immediately get the rest of the video you just watched, where I show you the fundamentals of steps four and five of the RST system. Now that you know your left side should be doing a lot of the heavy lifting in the swing, we still need to show you what to do with that golf club and that pesky right hand. I'm going to let you in on a little secret also that I got from Jack Nicklaus that completely transformed my own game and took me from shooting in the low 70s to the high 60s almost instantaneously. When you join our Rotary Swing Tour family, you're going to get two bonuses that I've never ever been crazy enough to offer before. Remember. That that move I mentioned earlier about Dustin and Baba and Rory and all those guys have mastered, the one that I get paid over three grand a pop to teach at all my clinics, it's called the Pro Power Move and in just a session or two, it will help you add 20, 30, or even 50 yards to your drives. It's the move that every single tour pro has mastered that I hardly ever see amateurs do, which is crazy given how unbelievably important it is. Considering how much money I make teaching this at my clinics, probably a little bit nuts to do this, but as a free bonus to new RST members, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to pull off this pro power move. Will it have you hitting the ball as far as Dustin and Rory? Maybe not, but it will have you launching rockets past your buddies. They say the best walk in golf is from the tee box with your putter in the hand. I disagree. I think the best walk in golf is the 30 yards between you and your best friend's best drive. With every single step you take past them, the smile on your face will get bigger and bigger. The Pro Power Move will give you that feeling again and again and again. And combined with the RST system, it will have you doing it safely, naturally, and consistently. Your body's gonna love you for it. But that's not all you're gonna do when you join us at RST today. We still have two more bonuses that you're not gonna find anywhere else. Like I mentioned, I spent eight years as a tour golfer. But do you wanna know why I really, truly never made it? It was pretty simple, really. I sucked at putting. Like, I mean, I was really, really a bad putter. I was a great ball striker as anyone, but I even averaged 16 to 18 ground, greens around. But I struggled consistently to break par because of my putting woes. It wasn't after, until after I retired and I had a chance encounter with Jack Nicklaus that completely shattered everything I thought I knew about putting. Imagine this, averaging 16 to 18 greens around in regulation every single round but racking up so many putts you're struggling to break par. That was my reality. It was really frustrating. But literally, in my very next round, after learning Jack's little putting secret, I began draining more putts than I would have and I would have killed to make as a pro. 
Sure, I've had my ups and downs, but in the years since that chance meeting, I've gone from scores averaging around 72, 73 to around 68. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. If this putting secret is so revolutionary and my game has gotten so much better, why haven't I gone back out on tour? The answer is really simple because teaching the rotary swing tour is much, much more important. I told you, it's my life's work. This is what it's all about for me. So for your second bonus, you're gonna get this 11 part video series that's gonna walk you through exactly what I learned from Jack that day about the putting stroke that lowered my scores forever. So let's recap. When you join us today, you're gonna to be getting a, several things. First, the full RST five step training system our entire video library covering every single aspect of the game, the Pro Power Move bonus tutorial that will have you hitting the longest drives of your life, and the bonus Jack Nicholas putting secret that's gonna completely revolutionize the way that you think about putting. But here's the deal. We provide an insane level of customer support to our members, so we can only take a limited amount of new members each month. I want to make sure that everyone's questions are answered as they start learning the swing mechanics and they start making changes to their game. This offer is only for a limited time, so a very good chance we won't be offering the Pro Power Move tutorial or the Jack Nicholas Putting Secret outside of our clinics ever again. We just can't really do it. So if you want to learn the secret to effortless power in your golf swing as well as the putting secrets of one of the game's greatest players of all time then today is the day to make that happen and cure your golf swing once and for all. I want you to know that it's absolutely critical to me personally that you get tremendous value out of Rotary Swing Tour. If you don't, then I don't deserve your money and we will happily give you a full refund, no questions asked. I totally get it. Sometimes the only way to really test things out and know if something's right for you is to try it out for yourself. So it's my goal to make that as easy and painless and as risk-free as possible because I truly believe you're about to experience the best transformation your golf game has ever seen. Simply click the link below to get immediate access to the entire Rotary Swing Tour system and all of the free bonuses I just mentioned. It's a little scary to think about, but the truth is your body's actually a ticking time bomb right now. You don't realize it yet, and neither did Jason or Eric. It's not a matter of if your body's going to blow up and cause some sort of life-changing injury, but it's just a matter of when. Golf is supposed to be the sport you can play for a lifetime, but you don't have to look much farther than Tiger Woods to see that the poor swing mechanics can catch up to you sooner than you'd like to think. So wouldn't you rather make those changes now that will let you play the game you love for the rest of your life while also making the game more enjoyable in the process? It's a no-brainer. With RST, you will rapidly learn how to create a swing that is efficient, powerful, and the envy of all your friends and playing partners. I've built my entire life around studying everything that goes into a perfect golf swing, and I've worked with some of the foremost experts in the world to do it. When you join the Rotary Swing Tour family, I will help you to play the game safely for as long as possible while having the lowest scores of your life in the process. The time to take action is right now. Click the link below to change your golf swing forever, and I'll see you on the inside.